Hi, welcome, I'm Impact Frames, and in this video we are going to take a look at OOTD Fusion, which is a model to replace characters' clothing. Like you can see here, we have like a woman and a different piece of clothing, and then you can change the character. This is for virtual stores like shops like uh, Amazon and stuff that you can try different clothing in a person, and that's kind of the idea behind it. So this is not going to work perfect for anime characters or like 3D but it's for real people most of the time and we are going to be using the config UI custom node that you can install by looking at OOT diffusion in the manager in config UI I'm going to show you in a minute but you can also come in here into this repo by the way start the repo in here and then you can git clone this into your custom nodes if you are in Windows you're gonna need Visual Studio Code uh, 2022, Visual Studio here. And then you're gonna install the SDK that is uh, permanent to, yeah, that is the one for your computer. If you have Windows 10, it will be the Windows 10 SDK. If you have Windows 11, it will be Windows 11 SDK. And you have to check in the S uh, MSVC123 the SDK as I was saying and at the end you will go to this folder that it says here by the way in my machine it's a different folder but you need to look for this bad file that is going to set the environment for your computer it will point the files over there and then you can run your config UI and it will work in, in that way if you want to see my machine I have it like in program files not in program files 86 but program files and then visual studio 2022 community bc auxiliary and then build and in here is my bcv parts 64.bat which i just have to uh, double click to make the files point to that folder and that's it so then you will have it here in your config ui and you can see how amazing it is um, I will show you in a minute how to use it, but you put just one image like the mold that you have and then the piece of garment that you want to have into the character. And you can see here that it's not a perfect job if you come in here, but basically you can use Photoshop. Then this is like a rough first pass and then you can come in Photoshop and delete this face and basically show the layer under the layer underneath that it will have like the the perfect picture of the girl right so that's that's how you solve the issue and then you have like just two nodes and you can have it like in the there is another OOT diffusion that you can have from here but if you select the the hugging face hop you basically gonna download everything at the beginning and it will get downloaded into the right folder and you don't have any issues like I do in here so you have your full body and the dress because my picture is like a full body picture. And if you want this to work, the best possible way is to have the character like looking at the front of the camera, like in an A pose, you know, like with the arms by the side and a full body pose is like the one that works best. But you can have like a three quarter view if you like, like a three a cowboy shot and you can have like that and then you can have just use the upper body or the lower body and that's, that's the way it is if you want to install it from the manager you will come into install custom nodes and look for OOTD in here and after you look for the search it will appear actually appears one more in here maybe this one is I'm gonna take a look at this one it's new but this one is the one that I'm using the auto auto bit and you can try that one first maybe i'm gonna install the other one to check if it's better or or not but i i think it works the same as the original because it's like a wrapper it might be like the vram for this is taking like 50 percent of my 24 gigs so i will set 14 to 13 gigs of vram that you're gonna need for this to work and when you use the when it's calculating the 
the maps and everything it looks for the cpu and it's using like the full thing that like the cpu goes 100 percent or 90 percent and yeah that's a way that you use it like this you can see here another thing about the pictures is that these pictures are 7 8 by 124 and if you have both pictures at the same the same size that's what i'm doing here with my pictures going into photoshop and made a made a template with 7 6 8 by 10 24 and exporting those images into one folder where i'm using them and as you can see here if the character has like a she has an skirt and this is coming well with the dress in here because the dress will go up to the clothes underneath so if you have some pants you want the character that you want to have like the original with some pants on it right so that's a way that you want to use this to show that i have here this character that had like a short pants but i wanted like a full long pants uh, on her but it wasn't able to do it because it's looking the maps needs this thing like a control net to have like the the pants totally in there so i went ahead and looked for one character that has like a full set of pants um, you can see like it replaced the full pants in here and it does a, it, it does a good job maybe you have to come in here in the hand and clean this in in photoshop if you want to use this like seriously but as I said, I'm just trying this thing. And here you have like the half body example and I'm trying to do like the upper body and basically it fails because it kind of doesn't understand well the picture because the character has some dynamic on it. There is one repo that it just came out. It's actually just a paper, doesn't have any code on it yet. So it might be releasing like probably in the, in the coming weeks and that is very good for even changing like the character like if you have a jacket a closed jacket you can open it like something like drag Nua, and also has for the characters with like a dynamic pose and stuff so this works better as i said with uh, poses that are not that dynamic and you can see like another example with the full body like when you put them all in full body type and the category into a dress category and you can see like the it works better and we have another example here with the girl if you, if you saw like the other girl they didn't have like a long sleeve and i have one with the long sleeve in here so this one with the short sleeve it will have problems to to represent that long sleeve but if you find like a character that has the long sleeve in the original, you can replace that that piece of clothing. And in here I went full body with the upper body. Yeah, so upper body, full body, and that replaced the top, the top for the girl, the top garment. I have another one with the half body here just to show that you can do half body, but it's more like a three quarter view and there is a couple of problems with the hand maybe the hair you're gonna have to retouch that in photoshop but what i'm saying is like it, it gives you like the the beginning of the thing so you're gonna have like a lot of work done for you if you try this and i see we're gonna do this one live to see how fast it is i don't think it's fast enough and i haven't like a complaint here for the accelerate i tried to install it already i did install it before but somehow it lost the accelerating here so it's doing this by cpu and that's why you see like the first pass is cpu and then it kicks the gpu in here because she has a long sleep i guess that it's gonna work well let's see So it takes like 30 seconds or so for uh, 20 or 30 seconds and we can see this one took like a minute but the quality was quite great i think this one did work really well because he had like the long sleeve and stuff 
So that's it for this. I made this video because someone asked me how to do it with the IP adapters. I and the IP adapters have been updated and recently and I have to take a look at them again because they are like a bit confusing now but they are good actually uh, they develop some like a tiling IP adapter that makes the work with uh, long images like this a lot better so we're gonna take a look at IP adapters maybe next how to do this with IP adapter I guess that we will have to paint our own mask and stuff. I haven't tried it yet, but I think it's super possible because we have most of the things already done, but you're gonna have to make like a custom workflow for that to work. And that's like a, mo a bit more involved. So if you want something quicker and get OOTD diffusion and get this rolling, I think it's a good thing. Well, thank you for watching. Bye bye. See you in the next one.